up guys and welcome back to my channel i'm so glad you guys are watching today so be sure to watch until the end and if you like what you see make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe and turn on those notifications so let's get right into it today we're going to be discussing the movie what men want now this film was directed by Adam Shankman. There were multiple producers on the film, one of which was Taraji P. Henson herself. So let's get right into it. Okay, first, the groove time. This film definitely had me from the beginning. Um, it started off very upbeat and I love a good girl boss moment. So I was definitely here for it from the beginning. The groove time was definitely great. Now onto the surprises. There were a few surprises in the film, one of which was how she begins to have the ability to read men's thoughts and then how she doesn't have the abilities. And um, it was interesting because I kind of felt like, hmm, now who did what first? <laughs> because isn't it romantic have the same type of surprises? It was like, okay they were very similar so if any of you watched the movie isn't it romantic and saw this film comment down below and let me know if you felt kind of like the same type of vibe going on after i saw the film you know and even when they were promoting the film i noticed a lot of people said okay well she had the power to read Miss thoughts based on some tea that she drank and i wasn't quite convinced that that was the actual reason why she was able to read men's thoughts and if you felt like that wasn't the actual reason and you know what the reason was, which I'm not going to say right now because, hey, that will be a spoiler alert. <laughs> but just comment down below and let me know if you were like, OK, yeah, we know the tea thing, but this is what really happened. And that's why she's able to read men's thoughts. Predictable ending. I feel like with this film, the ending was kind of predictable. But at the same time, it's the type of film to where you're rooting for her throughout the whole film. And it's not like you know exactly what's going to happen, like every detail of what's going to happen. But there's definitely a storyline that you want to happen. So even if it is a little predictable, I mean, it's really the type of stuff that you want to see happen in the film. So I was definitely fine with the way you were able to slightly predict what was going to happen because, hey, I was rooting for her in this film. Now, movie watch category. I feel like this is definitely a good film to watch almost in any category. It's a great date night film um, because although it's what men want, there are funny moments that everybody can enjoy. Um, it's definitely a girl's night out for sure because there are definitely moments in there where you see her having a girl's night out. So. You know, it's fun, the women can relate, uh, men can relate, guys night out, hey, just, it's a good time for anyone. And it's definitely gonna be good for when it comes out on demand or Netflix or any other streaming services. So definitely check it out. I feel like the movie is for everyone because it was just an all around good time. The popcorn size. For this film, I'm going to give it a medium popcorn because I feel like you're definitely into the film, you're into the groove quickly, um, you're definitely gonna be awake, there are laughs, there are fun times. Um, you know, it's like, I give it a medium because it's just enough. Like, it's just enough for you to go there, enjoy your popcorn and be like, hey, that was a really good movie. So two thumbs up for all of the cast and everyone involved in this film. Taraji, girl, you did your thing, I liked it, and I enjoyed it. So everyone go see it, go see the film.